मेघालय चीफ मिनिस्टर कॉनराट के संगमा जी नागलिंदे आई की ना चीफ मिनिस्टर निफी रियो गे लोग पैसे तला घोर दे कोलिशन रिलेटेड इश्यूज ओपर कुथा कर बोले संगमा पर प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस दे कुछ है कि एनपीपी पार्टी दो पीडीए कंसेंसस कैंडिडेट डॉक्टर चुम्बन मोरी गे सपोर्ट कर बो कुछ है नेशनल डेमोक्रेटिक अलायंस ला ट्रू टीम स्पिरिट प्रा आई बी डिटेल सब इन द स्टेट कमिटी मीटिंग व्हिच वी हेल्ड टुडे बेस्ड ऑन द प्रपोजल that was given by the state committee. A number of resolutions were taken uh, in my presence uh, today in the meeting that was held uh, in Netu Resort. Uh, the first uh, resolution that we took today officially was to support the candidature that has been proposed and sponsored by the NDPP for the Lok Sabha elections, uh, we have decided as a National People's Party to endorse that candidature and as a party to support the candidature that has been proposed by the NDPP in the true team spirit of the NDA. As you're aware, the NDA partners have expressed similar support to the different uh, political parties of the NDA who have sponsored candidates in different parts of the Northeast. The NDA partners are supporting each other in those states also. For example, in uh, Meghalaya, the NDA partners are supporting the candidature of the NPP. In uh, Arunachal, the NDA partners are supporting the candidature of the BJP. And uh, also in Outer Manipur, the NPF has met me today. And uh, they have urged for us to support. And officially, we have uh, discussed with, with the Manipur unit also of the NPP. And our MLAs have also expressed, then the parties expressed that they will support the candidature of the NPF in outer Manipur also. So hence, uh, this is the spirit in which the entire NDA is today working. And it is in that spirit that uh, we met the Honorable Chief Minister of Nagaland, Mr. Rio, and we have uh, handed over that resolution to him. And we have uh, expressed, as I said, our full support for the candidature that is sponsored by the NDPP. Uh, apart from that, we have discussed other issues related to the overall coalition and the working of the coalition and those are of course matters which are more internal and therefore uh, I do not wish to discuss those in details uh, but uh, certain concerns have been expressed and those have also been shared with the Honorable Chief Minister uh, of Nagaland. Uh, we had a very very positive meeting. Uh, in the meeting there were also representatives from the other coalition partners like the BJP and uh, as I said, uh, in front of them, also we discussed all the details about the election. And uh, as I said, once again, we are very happy uh, to give our support uh, to the NDPP candidate and in the spirit of the uh, overall team NDA. So this was the real uh, uh, purpose of my visit. Apart from that, of course, I've had detailed discussions with our honorable MLAs and our party leaders regarding organization and strengthening of the party. Uh, many discussions took place on that also and certain uh, decisions and resolutions which are again internal matters of the party have been taken and uh, we will work hard to ensure that uh, we organize the party in a stronger manner also in the state and in the region of the northeast as a whole. So these were the discussions and the decisions that were taken today. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, we are happy to answer your questions. Uh, no, there was no agreement as such. It was mainly the election related issues. Uh, but yes, of course, as I said, in coalition, there's always a lot of issues and concerns are there, uh, which is there in every coalition. I also run a coalition of almost seven parties, uh, six parties now uh, in the state, and uh, therefore there are always complications. We, we use this opportunity uh, to discuss those issues and concerns which our MLAs and our party leaders had uh, and shared those concerns and requested uh, the intervention of the Honorable CM to resolve uh, some of those issues. So that was all. It was not really any kind of agreement as such. It was normal coalition-related matters. So now that uh, your party, NPP, is 
giving a full support to the PTA government, led by Rio. But whereas your elected legislators have not been given any responsibilities. So, so in that regard, so is your party just willing to go ahead like this, or do you expect that the elected five legislators will be assigned at least some portfolios in the coming days? So, uh, running a coalition is not always very simple. Uh, as I said, I have also run a coalition, and I run a coalition now. There are challenges always in coalition, uh, and we respect those uh, challenges. But at the same time, obviously, as coalition partners, we also expect a certain uh, kind of uh, uh, responsibilities, as you said correctly, being given to us. Uh, well, working with the government is in itself a responsibility, and taking care of our constituencies is a responsibility which we are doing now and uh, we are getting certain support from the Honorable Chief Minister and the government. Uh, and uh, while we do get that, we do expect and our expectations are there in uh, other forms also, as you said correctly, in terms of uh, having some kind of a, uh, responsibility being given to our MLAs. We have urged the Honorable Chief Minister to consider that and to see uh, how our legislatures who are very experienced some of them are uh, maybe new, but they have got large experience in terms of public service. And therefore, their expertise can be used for the overall betterment of the government. And so we have urged, this was also part of the discussion, since you've asked a question, we can share with you that this was part of our discussion today with Honorable Chief Minister. And uh, he has uh, definitely uh, agreed to consider and look into the matter. There are challenges, there are many partners, and hence uh, he is, has to balance out the entire prospect. But as coalition partners, it was our duty to uh, express those concerns, and we have expressed that also. And we do expect that we'll get some response uh, in a positive way.